obviously this has been a season of ups and downs. I discussed that with Andrea. But in terms of tournament play, no one has been better than UConn. And for more on that, I want to turn it over to Unqua Sonye. He is live with more on the Huskies' ups and downs this season. Unqua. Thanks, Aaron. And look. Don't be fooled by where we are now. Getting to this point wasn't easy. You've heard it all night, and uh, you're going to hear it again. Think about it. This was a team that lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament for the last two years. And the way this season went, you could break it down into a bit of a trilogy. Just, just follow me, will you? First, there's the start. The Huskies won their first 14 games, forging ahead with strong rebounding and stout defense. UConn only allowed 59 points a game and out-rebounded their opponents in 10 of those contests. With the offense doing its part, UConn early on could do no wrong. We pride ourselves on, on we season, so, you know, just playing the game the right way, you know, sharing the basketball, there's tons of talent on this team. We've set such a standard of how you know, we've just kind of obliterated people. If we slip even a tick off of our identity, the defense, the rebounding, the domination on the backboard, the, the, the elite defense, things un unravel. Fittingly, after the rise came the slump. After beating Creighton for the first time ever, and keep Thanks. in mind that team made it to the Elite Eight, the Huskies dropped four of their next five games, all in Big East play. In the span of a month, UConn fell in the AP poll from number two to number 24. And while they cling to the national rankings, the program was fighting to stay afloat. Just, just working our way back to our identity. Um, eventually, it, it, it'll come back. And everybody on this team has the, has the goal to get it back, so we're all working towards it. Get that center position going, get some of the depth pieces going, get the defense fixed. Obviously, we've got a bunch of things we got to do, but uh, you know, that team is still there that has the quality. So how did the Huskies get here? Two games shy of a national title. Simply put, they needed the surge. UConn finished the regular season at 8-1, and one, knocking off nationally ranked Marquette and Providence teams in front of sellout crowds. Since their close loss in the Big East tournament, Darren Hurley's squad has shown no mercy in the big dance this time, winning their games by an average of 22 and a half points en route to a spot in the Final Four. Well, lucky for us, this movie isn't over yet, and a win Saturday night will give us one more chapter on the road to a championship. I'm Unqua Sonia. And special thanks to our sports intern, Ethan Logue, and Valerie getting this project done, and editor Doug Merwin as well. Mark, back to you. Yeah, what a